what's going on welcome back to another episode of metal massacre fab shop today we're back on the 65 c10 and we are going to be putting some of our fenders on maybe a little bit more permanent so as some of you hopefully may have seen the last video we got this 65 running in the previous video and as you can see most of our fenders are not bolted up currently that's probably going to be the main focus for right now is I'm going to try to start slowly getting this front uh, clip, I guess you could call it, back together on this old truck and then we'll work our way back from there. Oh yeah. Man, I just really do not like that square body front bumper that they put on that. Which that's something we can change here in a little bit. Have to go do pressure washing round two now. Luke has removed the front and rear bumpers. I've got the other side fender on here. I'm gonna go ahead and start sliding this one on. That side fits up a lot better than the other side did. <laughs> it is crazy how much difference though it just makes just by getting this thing bolted back together. It's already looking like a hundred times better. I want to talk to myself. I could be the... I'm impressed with whoever took these apart because this is not very fun. <laughs> So now that we've got our front fenders all reassembled, we're going to go ahead and start working on our rear fenders. Alrighty, so it has been a couple days since we've worked on this truck, getting the back fenders bolted on, front fenders, and we put a bumper on the front of this truck. So it is looking pretty good. But the next thing I'm going to probably be doing to this old truck is I'm going to try to get this thing running a little bit better. It is running kind of doggy right now. No offense, Layla. But uh, it needs to probably pep up a little bit. We could barely even do a burnout on that last little video we did. So let's see if we can't dive into this thing a little deeper and find out what's going on. <sighs> you ever just have one of those days? It's kind of been one of those weeks unfortunately all right so the first thing I noticed on this old truck was pretty substantial drag whenever we've tried firing this thing up after it got a little heat in it I'm thinking that's timing related so I'm probably gonna bust that loose a little bit we'll play around with that and see if we can't get this thing at least turning over a little bit better and then from there we'll try to kind of figure out where this miss is gonna be Alrighty, I fiddled around with our distributor just a little bit. Let's see if this thing starts any easier. Well, it's not stuttering anymore. Now it's just not starting. Looks like our fuel filter has went dry, so I'm going to get just a little bit of fuel to put down the carburetor to see if it's dry in the tank or if it's just starving for some fuel. Alrighty, I don't think we're picking anything up from the tank again. Alright, I got us a new fuel filter on there. This one is pretty shot. It's got a lot of rust and sediment up in it. Um, this old tank is definitely pretty rusty on this truck. But we're running a filter for that reason. And if I do end up selling this, that'll definitely be something that I tell whoever decides to buy this truck. Oh, I just got a mouthful of nasty gas. I'm probably going to be missing this side of my beard in the next video. <laughs> Alrighty, we got a little bit up to the filter now, so hopefully it'll pull it on up to the carburetor. It's turning into another will it run, I guess. Well, we 
We got a lot, a lot of grass on fire. That's what that is, apparently. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that out real quick. Well, on the plus side, it did start clearing up there. So I don't know, maybe it just had some stuff down in it. I did find a mouse nest in this air cleaner whenever I found this truck. So maybe this thing just had some junk down in it and it finally started blowing it out there at the end because it started really running quite a bit better. Right around the time it started smoking quite a bit more. Alrighty, so that's gonna wrap it up for tonight. We'll be back out here first thing. Well, not really first thing, because I've got a real job, unfortunately. But we'll be back out here as soon as we can tomorrow. So it is the next day, and we're back out here. Hopefully you can see on the light what we are picking up in this fuel filter. It is pretty nasty stuff. For the most part, that tank needs probably changed because it's got a lot of rust sediment and everything else in there. Kind of charged on the battery all night and hopefully that is gonna be up and ready to go now. So I'm gonna get it in here real quick, see if we can't fire this thing up. And then I'm gonna try to pull down and do a better burnout than I did in the Will It Run because I feel like this old girl has a little bit to make up for. Might help if I get the key first. Not like anybody would want to steal this thing. Round two, again. Yeah, that's running a lot better already. Shout out to my camera woman right now. Well, I guess it's not running too much better. Definitely not running as good as it was last night. Could be that fuel filter getting clogged up again. Hmm. She wants it. Might have to utilize the gravel again. definitely needs some plugs in this thing we'll get into that and all that good stuff but I think I'm gonna take it up to the house real quick and pressure wash a little bit of this off come on here comes my best helper right here get this thing up to the house real quick we're gonna wash around on this just a little bit I've got some ideas we'll see if it's gonna work so my last step for this video is gonna be I want to see if we can't get the reddish color out from underneath this primer. So what I'm gonna do, start out with a little bit of kind of a, like an SOS pad, steel wool type thing. So I'm gonna just kind of get the whole area here wet. And then I'm gonna start, uh, just start working this thing and see if I can't get some of this primer off of this. Cause you can see there's some red paint under here which I would much rather have paint under this truck or on this truck than primer, which I understand primer is paint as well, but you know what I mean. It would be a lot cooler if the paint itself showed instead of just some primer somebody stuck on this old truck. Oh man, yeah, this is coming right off. I'm gonna throw you guys in a quick time lapse real quick. I'm gonna rub around on this fender and hopefully we can start seeing a little bit of results. All right, I am gonna run in real quick and grab something a little more heavy duty, some Scotch-Brite. Just try to knock some of this heavy off because back in here, it is super heavy and it just feels like they just really caked it on. So be right back. 
looks like we're getting down to some bare metal. Which is unfortunate, but I still like better than that primer. I'm just not a primer truck fan at all. This also came with a quick detach bumper. So you can get behind and work on all the good stuff. Alrighty, so it's coming out pretty good. Like I was saying in the video, some of this, it seems like it's bare metal, but in the same sense, like it seems almost like a weird silver primer i actually started hitting the door here just a little bit but it's kind of that sanded patina look which i don't really care for in my opinion it is a lot better than just the primer somebody sprayed on this so it'll make the truck look quite a bit better a little bit more of an og paint maybe coming through which i know this has blue red all kinds of different colors on it so it's not really original or nothing like that but to me, that does look a little bit more factory than if you just see a bunch of primer sticking everywhere. <sighs> Enough rambling on that, but if you would enjoy to watch me completely sand this thing down, transform this entire truck from gray to calico, I guess. I don't know. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below because it's, I think either in the next one or the video after that, we're gonna get right into that and hopefully transform this truck and maybe <laughs> actually get some spark plugs in at this time so thank you guys a lot for sticking in here no it wasn't a crazy video but the 065 is making progress nonetheless so have a good week see y'all